everybody i thought i could give you a quick walkthrough of designing a sticker kit in silhouette everybody does this differently but i thought it might be interesting to you to show you how i do it so the first thing i do is the current format i copy and paste a previous kit that i've already made so last week i made the bear cafe um sticker kit so i'm just currently ungrouping everything and getting rid of all single elements ready to replace these with the new kit that I'm making which is the carnival kit. This isn't any new artwork but I've been after it for ages so I thought I'd grab it now. This actual footage is about two to three hours with the full box is like here taking the longest so I do apologize if that does take a very long time um, to get through those. Um, I was also very indecisive about these, so I kept going back and forth about what designs I wanted where. So yes, this should be rather entertaining for you to see what goes into making a sticker kit. Um, so just here I'm adding a fashion girl um, into a scene. So how it generally works for my sticker kits is I like to have the middle bottom two um, boxes sort of the same so they could be put next to each other and match up very well and I also try to add a variety of hair colours and skin tones and then so there's a mixture of all skin tones and hair colours in the full size kit but if you off order the deluxe kit or any deluxe kit extras it comes with these different girls in skin tones and hair colours so that's generally what I try to do and here I'm being just very indecisive <laughs> and I also tend to, depending on what elements are in a clip art set, have a one for all the clothing elements. So here I'm just adding some clothes in here and then I kept wanting to use that carnival sign you'll see later but it just didn't work wherever I put it so I gave up on that front. And I'm also being really indecisive here as well about the placement of the elements. Often it just takes a while to play around with items and, and then I'll be happy eventually. So this probably took about an hour to do just the full boxes in all honesty. And then the rest of the kit shouldn't take too long. Um, so I can't remember if I mentioned but I'm making a deluxe kit in this video. Um, full kit is similar to the deluxe kit in that you just don't have the extras and then tomorrow I'll make a mini kit ready for the release which is just three pages and comes with just the six full boxes um, yeah so pretty much all of this kit had a lot of fashion girls the art that I purchased had a lot of different options and I try something out here and it just doesn't work <laughs> But that's fine, that's what making a kit is all about, is playing around with it, um, seeing what works, seeing what works for you and what you like. Yeah, and in a minute I'm going to get rid of that entirely. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out. So yeah, I'm sorry that the full boxes take so long, but this is just a realistic <laughs> representation of how I make the kits. Oh yeah, and now I'm just scaling things up. Um, if you ever want to see anything in details, I'm sure you can like slow this video down if you want to and see specifically what I'm doing. Um, Silhouette is a funny software. To begin with, I didn't know anything, whereas I feel like now I know a lot more and understand software a lot more. But I'm still sure there's things I don't know, but it's just every day. I wouldn't have a clue what half of these like, buttons meant before, but I'm really getting to grips with it now. And generally, um, just in this kit, um, if you know anything about like cut lines and stuff, um, the red lines on my kits are cut lines, so that's where the stickers will be cut. Um, any grey lines is literally just a bleed around the image, so that if it ever so slightly goes off cut, that it will account for this sort of minor judgement on the silhouette, but if it's too much, that goes into an oops pile. But all of my stickers will have an offset around them. And then either green or yellow is representing my deeper cuts. So you might be able to see above the yellow cut is where I will cut the sticker sheet. So each sticker sheet will be that measurement. 
I don't know if that was that made any sense or if that meant anything to anybody, but um, that's just how I sort of make the kits. And then I just group everything together to avoid moving it when I go on to the next one. I do forget often. Like, at this point, I haven't even saved the file, which is very silly because Silhouette shuts down all the time. And luckily it didn't. Touch wood, hopefully it doesn't anytime soon either. Um, but, goodness, I probably spent about 40 minutes on it by now and I haven't saved it, which was a very silly mistake. Uh, here I'm just deciding on another full box. And I think that's it. Or nearly it. No, I'm not done. <laughs> oh, at this point I realised that the edge of the arm also wasn't reaching the edge of the box, so if it's slightly off cut, it would look like the girl's hand was hanging randomly on the edge of the bo box, if that makes any sense. Um, so at least I sorted that bit out. And here I'm trying something out again. See, I was desperate to get that carnival sign in, but it just wasn't working, so I gave up in the end. And what did I put here in the end? I often do a lot of this. I put like the scene that comes with kits, and I zoom in and just go around the entire image to see what works where and here I don't know why it does that when you put an image in like a red line but um, I'm just it sort of like doubles the image so I have to erase the edges but that's fine that's just what silhouette is like when you get used to it and that is the box what it looks like when I cut out the sheet and usually I identify fourth um, main ah I'm I sorry I paused it there um I haven't I am um, I'm cutting saving the file um the way I save the file is FK stands for full kit and one two stands for page one two and C stands for carnival but it really depends oh I paused it whoops yeah so I identify the four key colors that I like in the sort of set and keep going with that using the colour dropper icon thingy. So it's yellow, pink, blue and purple for this one. All these boxes here are using digital papers. So they are designs and I'm just adjusting the papers so it matches up well. Um, my arrows only um what are these called? Heart checklets. And then I have a few icon pieces as well, which are deco pieces, which I'll do in a minute. Is it still going? Oh yeah, um, these are my glitter papers that I choose from. Um, and I make a note on the side what numbers they are because I later have to go back for the deluxe kits and add these as like into a bigger set as well as on some other images I need to use this so rather than going through a hundred different papers and deciding which ones I when I've decided I mark them at the side so I remember and don't have to go through them all at a time so often they do match really really well and I was quite happy with how they turned out this time if they don't I will ever so slightly adjust the transparency um, on the papers to make them either a little bit lighter or a little bit darker but generally like I thought these match pretty well 100 glitter papers is good to choose from I'm not too sure where I got these from because I got these like ages ago when I first ever started my shop and these are just the little deco pieces that I added Oh, I erased um, the couple of popcorn that had like fallen out of the packet because that would be an issue with the cut lines and would cut entirely separately to the original design. I could have fixed it with the cut lines, but it's just a lot more work, probably easier just to get rid of it. You'll sort of see what I mean in a minute when I play around with the cut lines. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, I think a bit got cut out. Um, yeah, that's the sheet done anyway. <laughs> There's nothing really more on that. Um, so I'm just changing the colour of the checklists there. I'm um, using the four 
um, main colours that I chose originally. And there are eight checkboxes, so there's enough for a week if you need them. And then I duplicate this and move it down. So that's pretty easy as it's all preset. And I copy and paste the carnival. And that's page three of the kit is the checklist. And also the header of the page sort of matches the colour theme. And these are my scalloped um, sort of functional things. All the colours match again. And here um, I need to move across the glitter headers again um, to make these, I think they're quarter sort of boxes. And I do the same with these ones. And I've just made the scale a bit larger so you can see the stars more prominently. I didn't need to do that the lines, but it's just to make it clearer that that's where the cut lines are for my own sake. Detached line sort of separates an image from the lines, if that makes any sense, so you can move them about a lot more. So again, matching up the colours and the glitter headers. And this is lengthy. I didn't think about this. I should have grouped all the numbers before. I haven't got around to doing it yet. So I have to go through individually and recolor every single number. And then I have these bows at oh, I saved it there. Um, I have these bows at the bottom just to fill the gap. And these are actually part of my logo that my friend Elise actually let me use my new logo. So I just sort of had a gap there. So I thought, oh, they're quite cute. I'll have those in. I dread to think how long this actually took me to do that. It's strange because for me, I don't normally time myself doing the whole kit. So now I know that a kit tends to take me two to three hours. I just know that I get on and do it a couple of days before my new releases. And then in the full kit, is it seven? You have seven work stickers. Again, lining all these up with the same colours. And that's page four. So everything else is so much quicker compared to the um, full box pages. But the full boxes are also very fun if you're working with some nice artwork. Oh, and here I just turned on the registration marks ready for the silhouette. And I stretch them out as much as I can to fill um, it. Um, both sheets on one side of sticker paper. And then to avoid the registration marks if I can as well. And look at that washi. That is some nice washi. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Oh, I'm having a thinking moment here. Okay, so my I have also a red line going down the top strips of washi. So you can extend this through the sidebar if you wish. So that is page five done. See, so much quicker. I know this is going at super speed, but I just know it's quicker because all the icons are already set. I'm saving it and being good. And then page six. So all everything you've seen just now is in a full kit. So I'm lining up the colours again on these sort of extra functional half box things I've made. And again, lining up the glitter headers to the colours. That is why I always try and write down the numbers because I do use it frequently throughout the entire kit. I think it mapped really well actually this time around. And then these boxes here, the weekly and the habit trackers, tend to match the middle two boxes in terms of colours. Not always. Depends how dark the colours are and stuff. And here we just have some additional flags that I'm filling in. Again, I'm really sorry it's going so fast, but I don't think you'd want to sit down for three hours and watch this. So just let me know if there's anything you want to know, really, that I can help with. Again, sticking with those four main colours because that is going to structure the whole kit. And then page six is done. And I'm just copying the text that says carnival as well on all of them just to make my life easier. And grouping them all together. 
and registration marks and then you go to advanced and stretch it out. This will depend on your printer and what size paper you use, etc. So don't go by my measurements, if that makes any sense. They're just the ideal ones that I found work for me. And then I believe I should be going on to the deluxe extras. I think. Look how cute the last week's releases were. Sorry, I printed it out for this week and I'll do a memory plan with me. Um, this one's by Leia and Nuna Designs and Amanda does some beautiful kits. Like, just where do you get the idea from a bear cafe from? But I love it. I'm using it next week. So you'll probably see that on my channel. So we've got the 28 glitter headers. Um, we've got the label add-ons. Deluxe kit offers everything, but if you shop on my website, you can get a full kit and buy these individually. But the best deal is to get them all in all. Here's a double box, so of course I'm adding the carousel for that one. And then these four boxes are going to be the add-on girls in different skin tones and different variations. But anyway, we're coming to the end of the video very slowly. <laughs> um, I hope this was okay. Um, like I said, anything you want to know, just let me know in the comments. Um, I feel like it couldn't have been any slower because, again, it would have been really, really long. And I don't think you'd find it that enjoyable. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's just the different hair colours and... I hope you enjoyed watching this and seeing an insight into how I make my sticker kits. I also make the mini kits, but that's just sort of a similar idea. So thank you guys for watching this and I hope it's okay. <laughs>